My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 82 I've done everything you ever asked of me, your majesty. I fought in the war. I quelled the rebellion. And mediated conflict with other countries because you said that is the duty of the Lapillians. And this is how you treat me in return? Just try telling me that I do nothing, as you did before. Calm yourself, Thirdio. As I said, I did not know something like this would happen. It's a headache for me as well. After all the work we put into preparing that event, how could something like that happen? It was simply an unfortunate accident. You should be helping us cover this up, not throwing a fit at me. It was difficult to find the one responsible for managing the venue for the contest. You did a fine job hiding it. I'd like to ask you, Your Majesty, what would the injured nobles think if they found out that the third prince and fourth princess were in charge and not the professionals? Enough. This only happened because you let your son and daughter oversee the event to expand their political influence, and then you hid your actions from everyone. An unfortunate accident? Do you think your daughter would agree with you? I don't understand why you are so upset over this. It was just an accident. And I hear your wife is fine. A thought occurred to me on my way here. Perhaps you have made our contract known to that daughter. From my perspective, it's a reasonable suspicion for me to have. I have done no such thing. Do not worry. You know how fond I am of your family. Do you not? Of course. You cherish us so much that you keep us very close, keep an eye on us, and task us with unending pursuit of duties like a hunting hound. But I am not the only one who signed the contract. You have a duty to keep up your end of the bargain, Your Majesty. Bear that in mind. The nobles have elected the Crown Princess as the chair. And many nobles have presented new agenda items, all headed by the Grand Duke. It will be difficult for the prince and princess to escape accountability in this. Let them have it their way, then. That arrogant bastard. It's been two days already. I want to know the details of what happened, but I'm not allowed to leave the manor. All they keep saying is to make sure I rest up. Apparently the Grand Duke is taking care of the matter, but I'm sick of being in my room. And the Grand Duke isn't even coming back to his own room. Books to alleviate the boredom. And His Grace was very much upset. But still, they said he'd be back today. I'll just have to wait a little longer. What? Who is it? God, he scared me. Your grace. How are you feeling? You should get more sleep. I, it's fine. I'm fine now. Did you just get back? Oh. 
I fell asleep reading. What took you so long? I really wanted to go outside. So what happened? You fell because of our blood. The princess had the blood, and she ordered her servant to mix it in the medicine. Some servants lent a hand when a lot of people rushed for help, and the princess's servant used that moment to give the medicine bottle to the doctor. I had figured the princess traveled back in time just like you, but I don't know how she held on to the blood all this time. We took back all the blood after we rescued a slit. There couldn't have been any more blood let out. So I just don't get how she could still have it. It feels like there's nothing but unanswered questions. I should never have taken you there in the first place. This is all my fault. Don't say that. We're married. It's only natural that I accompany my husband. Princess Dodolia. I figured she was wary of me, seeing how she kept my stepmother and Reina by her side. But I had no idea she'd obsess over the Grand Duke so much that she'd try to kill me. Her recent conduct tells me she has become deeply involved in sorcery, and it is highly likely she knows about our family's secret. So I'm thinking about moving to the Grand Dukedom for the time being, for your safety. What? Do you disagree? I, uh... Will we be leaving soon? Yes. Very well. I'll look more into Reina as well. She's close to the princess. We may be able to use her to find out something. I have some business I must take care of before we leave, so... Where are you going? To the Count's Manor? To your uncle or those friends of yours? And what business are you talking about? Didn't I ask you before? I feel like I don't know anything about you. Oh, it's nothing you need to worry about. This is too trivial a matter for you to be involved in anyways. And I've thought of a way to. I am your husband. You said it yourself. We are still a married couple. So why should I hear about your business from the mouths of others? Is it because my family continues to treat you horribly? Or is it because we are soon to be divorced? No. I was just worried about you. I know how exhausted you've been of late. When did I ever say that? I just... Please, your highness. It is time to leave now. Where are we going? I'm not sure. But we must leave this palace, that much is certain. The knights are waiting for you outside. What are you all waiting for? What is the meaning of this? Escort the princess outside this instant. I'm the princess. I thought the imperial family could do whatever they please. So why are they doing this to me? Episode 83 After the accident in the hunting contest, high nobles began to voice their complaints about the emperor. 
and they selected the crown princess as the chair and asked her to be in charge herself. There were three meetings in total for two weeks. As a result, an organization was established to inspect the emperor's personnel appointment process. The servant who gave the poison to the doctor was sentenced to execution. And the third prince and fourth princess who oversaw the contest were stripped of their privileges and expelled to the summer house outside of the capital. Princess Dodolia who caused the commotion was confiscated of all her property. The regular gathering she held in the convent was dismissed as well. You must serve her grace well. I will, I will. Is that any way to give your word? Say it like you mean it. I shall do my best to be of service to her grace, my lord. Please have a safe trip, your grace. Safe journey, your grace. And as for me, I soon left for the Grand Dukedom. I wonder if this is the right way. I feel like we're rushing things too fast. Are you concerned about the business at the Count Dom? Please, worry not. The stay at the Grand Dukedom wouldn't be too long. And please, rest assured with your business. The second party will be bringing all your belongings. My father will take care of the rest in the capital, too. The day after I had a conversation with the Grand Duke, the vassals came and requested for all the documents related to the business and items, and took them. And that evening, the Grand Duke sent an agent to tell me that he will buy all the items. So I gave them the key to the warehouse. The problem that's been troubling me was solved in an instant. That night, he went out the door without even a word. And now he's not even trying to look at me. I want to thank him in person, though. Forgive me, your grace, but... Have you had a disagreement with his grace? Are you alright, your grace? I only asked because the air felt strange. I don't understand why his grace put me in your carriage. Oh. Not that I don't like it, of course. Because this carriage feels very comfortable indeed. But if it's a matter you'd rather not discuss. I see. So that's what happened. But I don't understand. So his grace has not spoken to you since that day? It feels like he's avoiding me. That may not be. Well, it's been a while since that day. So why don't you have a conversation tonight? I'm certain his grace would accept if it's you. Are you unwell, your grace? I thought I could try talking to him since we're using the same room. Erm. You said it takes about two weeks to get there, right? Do you travel to the Grand Dukedom every winter? Just go to bed. Oh. Ah. How am I supposed to endure this silence for two whole weeks? I don't understand why we're even sharing a room if he's going to act this way. I've been feeling so uncomfortable for days. I understand how you feel. But his grace is rather quiet, although he's young. And I'd say he's rather like a closed book. 
Come to think of it, he's been rather quiet even when he was little. When he was little? Yes. I suppose it's because his father was quite the intimidating figure. Well, you know. When a father is strict, their children are well behaved. Just like me. Hold on. Why are you all looking at me like that? I am, actually, I can't say for certain, since I haven't had many encounters with his grace. It's just that I presume that his father could have had a big influence on his personality. His father raised him for the most part, after all. Anyways, please fret not, your grace. I'm sure his grace will work it off soon enough. He's right, your grace. You have us by your side, too. We promise we will do our best to serve you well and keep you entertained. But what Daniel said proved to be wrong. The Grand Duke's attitude grew colder by the day. Daniel's company is what kept me from boredom at least, but... Please forgive me, your grace, but I shall have to take the wagon from today on. Causing you discomfort is the last thing I'd want. Then please excuse me. The knights who kept my company are not even coming near me. But why? Riding on a carriage for days is exhausting. It's getting cold too. And more importantly, I feel so lonely. I thought he liked me. But then, he's not the kind of person to partake in playful banter with any and all. It's just that I made him so upset that he'd treat me this way. What is the meaning of this? I don't understand. His lofty title doesn't grant him the right to be cruel to me at his whim. I'm tired of this. I hate riding on a wagon. Nothing satisfies him. He gets upset whether I serve his wife or not. Ugh. What about his grace? He's out for the moment. You? At least you're in a better position than us, since you're the Viscount's son. Look at us. We had to train today too. He's making us feel like we're going to war tomorrow or something. At first, I thought this little lover's quarrel was interesting. But he's going too far. I don't understand why he's punishing us like so. What did we ever do wrong to her grace? It's so cold and exhausting, I feel like I'm going to die. I hear there is a land far away where there is always a huge commotion when a man and woman are together. I'd believe it if they told me his grace is from there. Please calm yourselves. What if his grace comes in? Let me go. I'm the son of a Viscount. But didn't you just say a lofty position doesn't grant you a right to do anything you please? Oh, your grace. Are you in need of assistance? I needed more firewood in my room, so... But what are you all up to? Tonight, you must speak to me. Don't tell me you. You can't run away tonight. Not this time. 
My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 84 Who offered you a drink? No. Please get up now. Get up and talk to me. And why are you holding my leg? You're going to run away again, aren't you? You're so unpredictable, aren't you? Then tell me, what do you want to talk about? Why do you keep avoiding me? Others are avoiding me because you do. Our journey is cold and exhausting. What's worse, I feel lonely. Tell me, why are we even using the same room then? That makes me feel even more uncomfortable. You know that? Why are you taking me to the Grand Dukedom in the first place if you're going to treat me like this? You did say that it's for the sake of my safety. And you said I could do as I please a few months ago. And when I asked of it the other day, you said. I regret I said that. So just go and get in your carriage. Is that any way to speak to me? This is so frustrating. It's not like I meant to die. I mean, it's already hard enough being sick. That's... Never mind that. You think your high status gives you the privilege to do anything you want, huh? I guess it does. But still, you said you're my husband. But you keep avoiding me. And you say you're my husband only when you feel like it. You always have it your way. Why are you doing this to me? I'm sorry. I was upset about my situation. Perhaps I was taking it out on you. Please stop crying. So you're going to stop this? And stop keeping me ostracized? No one ever ostracized you. Who would dare? You did. Fine. And you're going to talk to me from now on? Yes. Then. Let's have a drink together. Ugh. My head hurts. It's been a while since I last drank. I was just going to have a drink or two to warm me up from the cold, but... Hmm. Not that one. I prefer something else. Yes, the bottle with the yellow label. I prefer something else. Yes, the bottle with the yellow label. Are you awake? Here's your breakfast. How do you like this soup? About last night. I'm so sorry. The Grand Duke no longer ignored me since that night. And he even rode in the same carriage as me. And thanks to that, the knights and servants no longer avoided me. I guess having a conversation is necessary, although that felt embarrassing. I feel a lot more comfortable now.
although the conditions around us are growing worse. Are you all right? I beg your pardon, your grace. And you? Do you not feel the cold? I'm fine. Here, take this cloak. The cold wind keeps coming in even when we blocked all the windows. And what's worse, it's growing colder. It feels like we're going to arrive soon, seeing how the Grand Duke went outside in the middle. How could a manor be in such a barren land, though? This is far from what I expected, let alone the cold weather. I mean, look at his family's honor and standing. They ought to take root in the best of lands. Or is it because of their curse? And it's getting harder to see an inn. It's been days since we had to spend the night in the carriage instead. I really need a bath. Welcome, your graces. My goodness. The air here feels completely different from the residents in the capital. Welcome, your graces. I'm the housekeeper of this matter, Adele Moulton. We have a meal prepared. Would you like us to ready a hot bath first? Hot bath water first. Bring the meal to our room instead. Yes, your grace. Her last name is Moulton. Honey. Save the greeting for later. This way please, your grace. But it's been so long. And our son? Let's talk later. That was Daniel's wife. But wait. They have a son. Perry. Islet. Islet, didn't I tell you not to run? <laughs> 